In this video, I'll replace this icon here on the VLC with an icon of my own making. So I'll open up GIMP, go to File, New, and I'll type in 400 at the top because we need it to be a square. I might break a few rules here, but we'll get to the end. Now I'll make a new layer because I need the transparency. This top like the bottom layer is just for um, so I can see what I'm doing the exercise. I go to the rectangle selection tool and draw a square or reasonable rectangle square on the screen. Just move it up a bit there. It's about right. I think that'd be about right. Now I go to my uh, bucket fill tool and fill that with black. Now I go to my select and select none. I go to my back to my react rectangular selection tool once again and create another selection on the top. I'm going to make a clapboard, what they call a clapboard for uh, movie making. Now I change my color to white with them double add ended arrows. Choose the brush tool and this what they call a block. It's a block 50, 51 by 15 so I need to have the spacings right up to about 180 so I'll click on there that's 172 use the tumbler to take it up to 180 now I've got my color now I need to change my angle to 45 degrees so I can type it in 45 and now I need to change the brush size just put the up arrow in there that's a reasonably good brush size now I've got white I hold the shoot click once let the mouse button go, hold the shift key down and draw a straight line across to the other side and click again. And there's our pattern. I go to edit and I'll copy that to the clipboard. Return to edit and paste. It gives me a floating pasted selected layer. I make it a complete layer. It's only a small one. Now I'm going to need my flip tool, I'm going to flip it, flip it over once, I'll go to my rotation tool, click on it and just rotate it a, a fraction, so as though it's an opening jaws of a clipboard. Now I go to my move tool, move the active layer and move it into place, round about there. Now I right click the top layer and merge down. Now I click the uh, highlight of the white layer, the background layer and put it in the waste bin. It's not required anymore. Now I go to my image. Now I resize that to a um, an icon size. You can change it to about a hundred. You can go a little bit higher. But I'll use 100. I'm using XP. Apparently with Vista you could go 256. So I'll scale that. The I just clicked in there because the chain was linked. I'll scale it. Now I go to File, Export it. And down here you have file selection if you can't remember what the icon is, it's ICO. You can move down and find the Windows, Microsoft Windows icon, click on that and it puts the icon there. Just click on up the top there and change that. Just call it clap or anything you like. And I'm going to place it in my picture so I can find it nice and easy. So I'll go to export. It comes up there with a 32 bit per pixels and we click OK. Now I'll just pull that out of the way or I'll just close that file off because I'm going to use close all and don't save the changes. I'm going to use this again in a moment. So pull that out of the way. Right click on my VLC. Go to properties. Now this is XP because uh, Windows 7 is a little different. Click on icon. Click on browse and it's in the uh, my documents in my pictures there's our new icon so I click on that one open I click OK in, the, in that uh, change the icon image now you need to hit apply 
and then again OK. And there's our new icon for uh, VLC. It's a little bit more appropriate, that's only for yourself. Now for the other part, I'll go to uh, open up GIMP once again. If you go to the web pages, you'll find that to change an image, you need an, a special program. You really need, don't need to because GIMP does the job for you. I just opened this image, this is quite a large image I took over in England just recently. It's of stone heads. As you can see, it's quite a large image. So I just go to images and scale it. Once again, I need it to be about 100. And the change there, click OK. And well, that's 75. So I'll back it up and make it 100. And scale it. Because it's going to be an icon, it doesn't really matter its size. Go to my magnifier and magnify it a little bit larger so I can work on it. Right click the, uh, the layer at the top. Alpha to selection, which selects the outside. I'm going to swing my color back to black. Go to edit. Stroke that with a color. And I'll move it up to 10 pixels because uh, it's only a small icon. Stroke. And go to select and select none. Now go to file. Go to file and export the file. Once again, I'll choose the... Uh, option down here on the extension box. Scroll it down, find the Windows icon, click on that one there and export. I'll leave the name as it is because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it on my desktop so we can see it nice and easy. Now I go to export, we've got the icon icon up there and click OK or we'll export and it now goes into the export mode and there we go we just export it and then we just close GIMP off we quit don't change don't save any changes and there's my image to an icon quite simple to do in GIMP there's no need to go to all these websites and download different programs to do it or use their on web website to change the icon to an image it needs to be an ICO file that's all and it needs to be that size.